Without more federal money, efforts on the state level to help businesses could stall. But the EDA was able to launch a new targeted assistance program this week. I spoke with the CEO of the EDA, Tim Sullivan. Tim Sullivan, CEO with New Jersey's Economic Development Authority. It's great to talk to you once more. Great to be with you, Rhonda. How are you doing? Doing pretty well. Um, you guys have been busy the last couple of months and just this week announced kind of the latest tool in the EDA arsenal to help businesses. And that is a consulting program targeted for businesses in New Jersey's Opportunity Zones. Tell us about the program and why you're taking this approach. Yeah, it's an exciting new program that really, really builds on the comprehensive approach that Governor Murphy has taken to supporting small businesses through this pandemic. Uh, we know this is a pandemic uh, that is as a public health matter and as an economic matter been borne disproportionately by communities of color uh, and small businesses of color. Uh, and so we've set up this program to help provide some, some training and technical resources for businesses located in opportunity zones to help them do a whole range of things, uh, act, you know, uh, access um, and apply for uh, grants and loans and other uh, emergency relief tools, as well as um, uh, get their, you know, uh, get their businesses ready for what's coming in terms of a, uh, whether it's a second wave or addressing, you know, adding e-commerce to their capabilities, uh, all kinds of things to help them uh, strengthen their, their business, particularly small businesses. And this is really targeted at what I would call micro businesses, right? Five employees or fewer. Yeah, five and under uh, with a physical, uh, with a sort of storefront or a physical location in New Jersey and uh, located in one of the 169 opportunity zones. And these are businesses that, you know, came into this uh, pandemic with the, you know, with the fewest resources uh, to deal with a, with, a, with, with a downturn like this. And um, that really, when you add them up, collectively employ you know, hundreds of thousands of, of New Jersey residents. Um, and so it's a really important part of our economy and one that doesn't get the attention it deserves. So I know one thought that the EDA has is potentially expanding this program if it proves to be successful. Yeah, uh, we've done this a few times. We did this sort of, you know, we do this a lot prior to the pandemic as well, you know, trying to, to pilot programs, see if they work, learn from what doesn't, uh, and if they do work and if there's interest, you know, scale them. Uh, this is an initial $100,000 uh, program. We think we'll be able to serve, you know, probably 50 or 100 businesses through this, which is not nothing, but not, uh, you know, not, um, not at the scale of New Jersey's economy. And if it goes well and it, there's, um, uh, and if there's a significant impact from it and we can find some resources to fund it, uh, this is the kind of thing we look to scale and expand if it's, uh, if it's impactful. You uh, went where I wanted to go next and that is the situation with resources. I know when we've spoke before, the EDA has kind of exhausted uh, resources available. We know at least today, there's no federal money on the way based on what's happening in Washington with um, the lack of stimulus talks. I mean, how, how is the situation right now? Are there businesses that still need help, but the resources aren't there to help them? Yeah, I think Governor Murphy's been 100% correct in his frustration with the way Washington seems to be uh, handling this, uh, you know, the economic situation in, in through the summer and into the fall here. Um, certainly the needs in small business are extraordinary and, and they continue to, to um, they continue to pile up as as the as the as the, the economic slowdown continues, and that economic slowdown is is nationwide, and it's happening here in New Jersey as well because of uh, not just it's you know less to do with restrictions and more to do with consumer behavior. People are you know are staying home more. They're doing they're, they're, even if things are open, they're going out um, you know less, and so that's hurting small business in a big way. Uh, and that's you know for a lot of people, that's the right public health decision, but it's not helping the economy. And so, without some additional support from Washington, it's it's going to be even tougher. And at this point, um, there's limitations on the state side. We know we just went through the uh, budget situation in New Jersey. So is it really um, a need for the federal government to step up at this point, do you think? Yeah, I think the federal the federal funds uh, have been critical. Uh, you know, between PPP, the, the 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 small business program that was part of the CARES Act, and and the unemployment insurance that the federal government supplied, a little bit more than thirty billion dollars of um, of Federal support came in between something like May and July. It's an extraordinary amount of money. New Jersey's budget on a 12-month basis is about $40 billion. Um, and so $30 billion is an extraordinary amount of money to support New Jersey's economy. That, that can only come from Washington. Tim Sullivan, always a pleasure to speak with you. Thanks. All right, great, great being with you.